Welcome to Woodpecker. I've opened a simple certificate of incorporation in Microsoft Word and launched Woodpecker over on the right of it. To fill out this document, I'm just going to fill in some information into each field, for example, the date and company name, and then click Populate down at the bottom. We'll see that Woodpecker is going to insert all of the information that I've supplied into all of the appropriate places across the document. This includes evaluating any formula calculations or conditional logic that determine the correct information for my template. Woodpecker can also populate multiple templates at the same time, so you don't have to open each one individually. To do that, let's go over to this down arrow here and click on Populate Multiple. Woodpecker will allow me to select from the existing Woodpecker templates that I've created so that I can choose multiple of them to populate at the same time. I'm going to choose the Investor Rights Agreement as well as the Engagement Letter. We'll scroll down and click Populate and Woodpecker will populate all three of these templates for me so that I don't have to open each one individually. Once Woodpecker has populated these documents, I can either download them directly to my computer or I can share a link to them. If we visit the menu, we'll see your Woodpecker document collection. Your document collection houses all of the Woodpecker templates that you've created and is shareable across your team. Each one of your team members can use each template, either individually or in bulk, and can download or rename them. Woodpecker also allows you to maintain a standard clause library. This clause library can be used across your team for standard clauses that team members can use in each one of their individual templates. If I need to make a change to one of them, I can do so without having to update each template individually. Let's say I've spent a lot of time creating this template and creating all of my Woodpecker fields, but I want to reuse these fields in a new document. I can visit the menu and go to Reuse Fields. I can copy the field data here and then open a new document and paste that field data into this input box. That way I don't have to recreate all of these fields again and again if each template is using the same fields. Populating individually and in bulk isn't the only way you can populate a Woodpecker template. If we visit the menu and go to Settings, we'll see that Woodpecker has an API which you can use either standalone or with Woodpecker's Zapier app. Click this button to get an API key. If you ever run into any issues or have any questions, you can click the menu and click Talk with us to chat with us in real time. If you're interested in learning more about Woodpecker, feel free to sign up for a free trial below.